Here are five gimbal techniques that I would like to share with you. And this time I will be using the AK4500 from Feiyu Tech along with the Sony A7R3 to do the shoots. And yes, I'm still speaking English. The goal is to compose a cohesive short sequences using these five techniques that I'm about to show you. Quick bonus tip, always compose a short sequence with an ending in mind, meaning that the ending of the first clip and the beginning of the second clip should have the same camera motion. For example, if the first clip and the camera tilting up, then you want to start the second clip, have the camera tilting up as well, so you can make the two clips transition much more smoothly. Get it? Got it? Good. With that being said, let's focus our lenses and begin. This move is perfect for introducing a scene, either by pushing the camera forward or pulling away from the subject. Now, I have a challenge for you. Down in the comment below, name any physical activities that you can think of that involves push and pull motion. Keep it PG-13, please. Notice how I follow the back from the table all the way to hanging right above the floor. Then I use the door to block the frame just to add a bit more dynamic for transitioning into the next shot. You're probably struggling with coming up with a physical activity down in the comment below, aren't you? I'll give you one. It start with S. Strength training. On to the next shot. You guessed it, but I'm gonna call it the low hanger. I find this large erect tail design on the AK4500 very easy to grab onto when getting this type of low shot. There goes PG-13 rating right out the window. I honestly amaze myself sometimes. And you are still on YouTube, not on the other website. <coughs> of course, you can always swing the handle upside down on a normal gimbal to get the same effect. But the erect tail design just give you the extra ergonomic factor, making the low hanging shot much easier to capture. I will follow through this shot by tilting up and using the ceiling as transition into the next. And the next technique is orbit. One of my favorite. Not the gum, but the gum aimed by either. This move gives great emphasis on the subject. Especially when you zoom all the way into the subject, you can see the parallel, the parallax effect in the background makes the entire shot much more exciting. Remember how I ended the previous shot with ceiling chopping up across the frame? Now I'm going to make the wall, make this wall sweep up across the frame as well in the next shot. La reveal, the reveal. I'm trying to make it sound like French just to add a little sophistication in this boring type of shot. But this boring type of shot usually makes the most impact. And this technique, uh, normally you have the camera pointing down and gradually tilting up to reveal what's out there in the horizon. But you know how we do on this channel, we break all the rules and let's try to do the exact opposite to see how it turns out. No drone, no problem. The AK4500 has your back. It has a quarter inch thread located at the bottom of the handle so that you can hook it up on a tripod. That way it extends the camera another uh, five to six feet in the air, making the shot look like if it was taken from a drone. You don't really think I'll hurt my precious drone, are you? Guess again. 
And you're right. I put a memory foam at the bottom of the floor to protect it. I hope you have learned all 5 techniques that I just presented. Should you choose to review any of them, click on the timestamp time stamp link on the description below. It will take you to a particular section of your choice. We have finally arrived at the end of the tutorial. Now it's time to snap that subscribe and notification bell button. On that note, I'm running out of battery. so. That was dumb.